better. BYU wondered about its season, and now it is underway. It will be Warren who signals for the fair catch. I'm talking to some of the BYU players. They were looking for that. And Algiers got the first down and gets it into Navy territory as a flag flies in. I was in actual possession. They've moved it 40 yards so far. Algiers really been running well. And Algiers has some room to the outside. Algiers headed to the end zone. And did he get the pile on? He did. Touchdown, BYU. 34 yards. And they brought the blitz from the outside. You'll see 11 come in here, takes himself really out of the play, and then he bounces it and gets a nice block by the wide receiver there, Romney, and then he just has the speed to be able to get to the corner. But Navy brought the blitz. Old Roy on for the extra point. And three years. And had a chance maybe to go into the draft last year. You really hate to see that. Getting... Oh, they need to kind of step up and make some plays here. Katoa is getting into the secondary. He's got a chance to go, and now each of the two BYU running backs have found the end zone, and they are absolutely gashing the midshipman in the early going, a 39-yard touchdown run. Watch the left guard, really watch the entire offensive line, but watch the left guard again, Barrington. Watch him just open that up. You talk about clearing it out. I mean, that is an inc this offensive line is having their way in these first two drives of this Navy defense. He's progressive pylon cam. Did he get across? Looks like he's right there. And if you say nothing. Well, I, I, I just want to see how this game ends. There's a long way to go, but. Wilson down the middle and it's picked off. Evan Foxman with the interception and the midshipmen have been looking for a break and they've got one after the interception by Foxman. Boy, Navy, great job of being heads up. Not just the backs, but again, the, phys the physical nature of the line. Wilson zips it into Dax Milne. Milne up to the 40-yard line. Medium tonight, they're calling it third and two, but no problem for Algier, who already has one long touchdown run tonight, and he rumbles his way down to the kind of answer. And a couple guys stumble and right out into the flat. It's Katoa who's wide open and he waltzes into the end zone. He has one running, one receiving, and BYU is up by 20. Now, when you bring a linebacker who's actually responsible, both backers, especially here, nobody picks up the back coming out of the backfield. Right now, they're desperate. They're trying to bring pressure, trying to do anything they can to overcome the mismatch at the line of scrimmage. Extra point is true. Navy was very adept at converting fourth down last year. Fourth and one, and it looked as if Morris had a clear path, but I'm not sure he got to the marker in time. For a second, it looked like it was going to be easy. 11 of 16 inside the 40 last year, and he is true. So Navy holds him to a field goal with the Cougars lead. Seconds. On the ground, driving for the end zone and stopped short. No, I thought he was stopped short, but the official comes in and signals touchdown. With eight seconds remaining in the first half. So Rupini Katoa just kept churning and pushing. Let's have a look yeah, at it. Good. I didn't think look he got his, in, but let's have look, a look. Look at his leg drive, and then he extends the ball right before the knee touches. I think oh, touches. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're excited to. Hey everybody, I'm Wheels. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, enjoy the second half highlights. In the post game, just saying, hey, put, this is on me. This is my decision, and it's, it is. It's why we don't look prepared. Well, Zach Wilson looks prepared, and he just threw a seed into Gunner Rock. Wilson with a little tunnel. Romney has running room, and Romney going down the sideline, still on his feet, and Gunnar Romney will stroll into the end zone with another BYU touchdown. There's another example of what Allison just reported and talked to Coach Ken Niamatololo is this is not Navy defense. I mean, it, it, this is well executed by BYU, but there's a missed tackle. He goes down the sideline, another missed tackle, another missed tackle, another missed tackle. And then he just goes into the end zone. But well, that was a little soft pass. 
BYU scored so quickly. I was in the middle of a coming off a shoulder injury. At no point last year watching him throw the ball. Did he throw? Athletic director, Chuck Gladshaw, and of course, Coach Ken, who's done a tremendous job with that program uh, since taking over from Paul Johnson, who, you know, really got it going, too. Um, you know, he, uh, just like we, you know, we see on TV and, and uh, he and his wife, Betsy, you know, just brought a great energy to the program. Uh, seven Army Navy game. You know, and those are the days where you didn't throw the ball very much. I mean, 15 passes was really opening it up. Uh, but, you know, that they, they won that game. We won that game. <laughs> we had, you, know, you know, I kind of knew the players. And they, they had a very good team with Cartwright and Taylor, Tom Daly, Terry Murray, Ballsy. And, and they beat, you know, Penn State at Penn State. They beat Michigan at Michigan. They beat Syracuse. They beat Pitt. Uh, of course, they beat Army. And then, you know, they were upset by, you know, Rice and William & Mary. Got tied by Vanderbilt and all that. So it was really a, a great team. And they had a great year. But they, you know, just... Just lost in tough games. Be having success through the air versus getting pounded at the line of scrimmage. What that does to a defense. Of Eden was probably there. Oh, really? <laughs> Little known facts. Those, those are the kinds of things you say when it's 48 has given them a bit of a spark. You get on the corner. There is Miles Fells for running room and. Most productive offensive play of the night for the midshipmen as we check in with Allen. More aggressive and get into the backfield of their opponent. It's worked tonight. 48-yard field goal attempt from Navy's fine kicker, Bijan Nichols, who had a couple of game winners last season in their 11-win campaign, and the mids are on the board. Focusing during the game, celebrating touchdowns tonight. I was going to say, he's, he's had plenty to, to dance about tonight. I don't think he can get in there with cause to be challenged at times. Be aware that the kids might hear some salty language as McChesney dances into the end zone and BYU continues to pour it on. That, that zone play has worked all night. No matter which running backs in the game, no matter which offensive linemen are in the game, presses it. Nice little lateral jump cut and then was able to get into that second level and gets around those linebackers. Good angles for the linemen. Speed into the end zone. BYU. Elbows. We'll be at Wake this uh, Saturday. Our college game college day going on the road. Looking forward to that first time. Yep.